Okay guys, here's the template that we're going to use for the business plan workshop. And uh, just the tabs that are open, I've got the other ones hidden because they're behind the scenes and I don't want any formulas messed up. So if you're looking for other tabs behind the scenes, I tried to hide them. Because <laughs> if you change one thing, it's going to change the whole damn thing. So please don't try to find other tabs down there. Okay, so we'll start it off with the setup. And so if you're based off of the department you have, say yes, I have it. No, I don't have it. Okay. Uh, active build through. Activate build through. No, we don't want to do that. Just keep that at no for right now. Uh, we may play with it afterwards, but don't do it first. Okay. So I just, you can put some yes and no in here. So if you have plumbing install department, you don't, then you hit yes. You guys have to determine what is your plumbing install department. In my in my world, it's sewer replacement, okay, and then plumbing services, everything else, drain service, sewer installs. Uh, again, that could be. This was my world. I called it plumbing install. That was sewers. I could have easily called it sewer. You can call it sewer too, but don't have two of them uh, unless you have a repipe crew, something like that. Uh, Something that takes a day, it's a day long job. Those are installs. Everything else is pretty much service. HVAC service, HVAC install, electrical service, electrical install, uh, commercial service. Got other things in here we put in for other folks. All right, so then I just set up the calendar dates for days that, uh, and don't change these yet. If you have other days that you want to give off, whatever, we will. I just want to make sure that it's tested and do it with you. Okay. So uh, you just, I plug these in, New Year's Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and reduce a week, day, holiday, you know, it's a day after Christmas, basically. Uh, but we can put anything in here you want, there's no problem. Uh, do you have, you have to populate the seasonality? No, you don't have to populate the seasonality, and I don't like this tab, because we don't know what seasonality is and that means that you have 10 guys in one season and five guys in another season well that's fucked uh you can't do that okay <laughs> uh, so anyways plan on this being an easy easy or a there's no just treat it as there's no seasonality here okay yes we know there's going to be Okay, but when you're bidding on, when you're building your budget, it's not worth the squeeze. Okay, we want to find out what it's going to be. Ideally, our business, we want it to be predictable. So we have it every week. So if we're doing the marketing right, we're doing the outbound calls right, we're doing the service agreements right, we're going to, we're going to be predictable. Okay, um, and I hate I personally, I, I went against all the coaches on this. They wanted seasonality. And I'm saying, I understand that there's seasonality, but that doesn't mean you have to live by it. You can try to keep, you can create your own seasons. Every week is a, we got to fill it. Okay? I want to focus on, we got to fill every week. And make, that makes it a straight line. Some of you are going to, uh, push back on me on this and I totally get it and it's your business but I'm telling you if you want to run a business it has to be predictable not seasonable because you know sometimes it's 100 outside and sometimes it's 50 outside we've kind of seen that in August here this past month okay okay so enough of that crap All right put in our notes with this is when our follow-up calls, we'll put in our notes in here from the owner. Okay, put your notes in here. We'll go over those things. Your action plans, the things you got to do, or things you're going to, you're not doing right now, or you want to continue doing it, put in the action plans. Find out who the owners are on this. Go from there. Here's the big five. This will all populate after we populate everything. Revenue bill. This is a start. Okay. Each department. And if you want to change the name of the department, you go to the setup. I would, I would ask you not to change these. 
because all it's going to do is I want you all to be talking on the same page. You can have a definition for it, but let's talk about let's have on the same page what we're talking about. So when you're talking about sewer installs, you're talking about sewer installs. Okay? So I just wanted to... Sorry about that. I just wanted to... And now I'm freezing up on you. Alright, so here we go. Use these as your departments. Alright. And then uh, estimated dispatch demand calls. Now this is going to be um, God bless you. where's my notes? If you're making a plan to make outbound calls for the planning department, do not uh, due to no demand calls, enter that here. So system checks are we use that to fill our base. So call a call is a call, whether it's a demand call or whether it's a system check call. Okay. It's a chance, it's an opportunity for us to do the explore step. We do the explore step on our demand call and we do the explore step on a system check call. All trades. Because it gets you around the house to ask questions with the customer. You might find something. You will find something if you're looking, if you're, if you're with the customer. But if you're just looking without the customer, the customer's saying you're trying to build a list. Don't do that. Okay. I'm probably doing more coaching than showing you how to use the program. But anyways, I'll tell you it. we got to figure out demand calls. How many demand calls? Figure your demand calls out by the number of technicians you plan on having during that month. Screw the seasonality. If you have five techs, give them three calls a day or four calls a day. What do you want to do? Three calls a day is what I say because I want to maximize that call. All right? Some guys want to do four calls a day. Some guys I've heard do eight calls a day. That's fucking stupid because you're just rushing through it. And you're not, you got a guy thinking that he's got to do eight calls a day. Don't, we don't want to do that. Okay? We want to take our time. Matter of fact, ideally, we want to make the dispatcher's job miserable and have our technicians stay there on one job all day long. Your whole job is to make the dispatcher miserable. <laughs> you got too many calls that you can dispatch. Because you don't have enough tech because they're on full day jobs. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Uh, so then, that's our demand calls. What is our conversion rate? What is your average conversion rate been? Okay. And what is your average sale? Now, this average sale has material in it. Okay? I'm not going to take you through their old, their new fancy way of doing it. I'm not taking you through that. I'm taking you through the meat and potatoes here, okay? And then service agreements. How many service agreements calls do you run for the plumbing department? Some of you may not run any service agreement calls. Uh, if you have no calls, run service agreement calls. If you don't show that you're selling plumbing in your service agreement, service agreement, act like you do. Because that you're going to still call a customer for a plumber to do a system check. We're coming out there to do your system check. Oh yeah, Mr. Jones, part of our, part of our service agreement. It's not just HVAC, it's for every trade. So just want to make sure you guys are on the same page of what I'm talking about here. And if not, write down the questions that you want to have discussions about, and we'll talk it through so everybody understands it. All right? So again, conversion rate on all these. Okay? Uh, average sale. Average sale. Average agreement sale. So either one's a sale. But it's a system check. Service agreement. If you're selling service agreements, go from there. All right? Uh, Plumbing install department. Again, that could be your sewer department. And that'll be down here. But if you have a plumbing service, plumbing installation department, like, you know, repipes and busting up floors in the concrete and shit basements and the stuff in the basement, whatever it is, that may be an install department for you. I don't know everything that you all are doing. I have an idea, but I don't know everything. Plumbing drains right here. Okay, this is just sewer drains. Uh, if it's a replacement, it's going to go to the plumbing service installation department or the sewer installation department but we're running the drain call first so how many drain calls are we going to run out there okay that's what we're looking for here 
sewer installed, then we got the HVAC in here, again dispatch calls, system check calls, and service agreement calls for HVAC. And same way for the plumbing up here too, it's the same verbiage. Some people don't really focus on the plumbing service agreements, and I never did. I always focused on the HVAC service agreements. And if I needed calls, I'd just call these customers that had this agreement and say, yeah, it's time for your plumbing system check. Oh, I didn't know I had that. Yeah, it's part of your service agreement. We added it on. No charge. Okay? Just, you gotta, you gotta walk your way into the door sometimes if you don't have, the phone's not working, the marketing's not, not working, the weather's not working, whatever that may be. Okay? And then here's the electrical side. So whatever is yours, uh, these are the ones that I've plugged in here. I have some hidden ones you can see from 82 all the way down. Don't go down through there and try to undo them. Let me do them for you because uh, I don't want anything getting mixed up. All right, so then the departments. You got to put in what is your profit margin, 25% by the way, is should be everybody up here. What is your sold hour price? Okay. And annual budget demand calls. This is a... I believe this is going to self-populating here pretty soon. Uh, where's that at? Review. Unprotect. Uh, where the fuck is that, Timbo? Well, that's our margin. Yeah, that's right. And so the call, calls are this one here. The calls are going to be populated through here. As you go through and do the revenue build, these, these will automatically populate and they'll automatically populate up here as well. Okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect that protect that again. Okay. So I just don't want you typing over some things. You can type over anything that's in the gray. Okay, but don't type over try to type over anything else. It'll just get all met, get messed up. Okay? Because this is a big program. This is there's a lot of shit you can mess up. So I don't want you to do it. But let's talk it through and I'll show you how to unprotect it and all that stuff. Uh, again, for the installation department, you'll come down through. That's if you had it checked. Now, these won't generally be checked. These won't even show up if you're putting a, if you're putting a no into here. Just show you that. Plumbing install is a no. Okay, and we come back over here to the departments. And plumbing install is a no. Well, it's thinking. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. And there it goes. We don't have a plumbing install department anymore. It's just drains. Okay. But if we put that back in and we say yes, now we're copacetic and we'll come back here to the departments again. And it's thinking to add it back in again. This took me a long time to build. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so again, you got that. Then you got the budget. Okay, so then you put in your charter couch and then the uh, pursuit, uh, what is this here? How oh, they change this one? Oh, I do remember how we did that one. So you're going to put in your budget for what that's going to be for this expense. And then uh, percentage, some guys use this, I would rather we didn't. But I'll feel you out when you, when you get it. Some guys would rather uh, put this in and say, give me a dollar amount, a percentage of the budget of revenue over prior year. That should say prior year. Huh, not sure why it doesn't. But that's spelled wrong, for Christ's sakes. Over prior year, I'm gonna fix that, sorry. Okay, now over prior year, or dollar, you can put a percentage over prior year, or a dollar amount over prior year. I like to make you make a dollar, dollar amount. It's hard to put a percentage on some of these overhead expenses. So put a dollar amount, you guys do that. But anyways, I just, this is an example here, okay? So I put that in as an example. This is all automatic right here. Everything will come out here and show you by department as we go through it. Um, and then this here are the KPIs. 
you will be filling out these KPIs and we will be reviewing these every month okay to find out what our variances are and then we'll then we'll see January's February's March's and then we'll see the first quarter and then we'll come back over and we'll see the second quarter and we'll we'll see how well we're progressing each quarter okay Sorry, it's been a while since I used this, so I may be talking plumbing service, plumbing install. Yeah, they're all here. Okay, so automatically in here. Okay, and then come back over here and put company variants. And this is, there is nothing in here for you to fill out except some notes. This will automatically populate. Okay, because uh, you're going to be putting in your January numbers in this number right here. Uh, where's it at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This right here, you're gonna be putting in those gray areas. Okay? And then that'll populate this up here for you. And then, uh, oh, maybe it runs, maybe it populates it from here. That, that could very well be. So you want to put in your last year's numbers and then as we go through each month you're going to put in your numbers here and I put it in to this you can make it anything you want to as long as it's five lines no more than five please because uh, it'll break so you've got plumbing service there's not too many things that have five lines of revenue and if there is you shouldn't have that many okay uh, so Plumbing services here. What did, what was this one over here? Plumbing service, plumbing service. Oh, this is a new month. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's February. Okay. So you just... Oh, there's tabs. Yeah, that's right. I made tabs because people were scrolling down here. That's right. Okay, so I got a tab on each one of these. So each one of your departments that is highlighted is going to populate with this on there. Okay. Pretty, probably understand all this stuff, but I'm just putting it in. Seasonality. Uh, most of you won't have your seasonality, and I, I put this up here. Don't put dollar amounts in this, okay? Put in your call amount, your call count seasonality. Don't put dollars in here. Put in your average number of calls for January, and you can do that for the past four months, four years, if you'd like. If you have good data, put it in. If you don't have good data, don't even think about it. Uh, make sure you go back through 24 and find out at least one year's worth of data so we know what the, the, the seasonality is for you guys. And it's all based off call count, okay? Not dollar amount. I think I mentioned that earlier, okay? So we go through each one of those to get the seasonality. And that's all I'm leaving you. I've got some hidden tabs. I really don't want you to touch because it's not, this isn't the time to touch them, okay? We'll open it up when it is time to touch them, but please don't open them up because it'll fuck it up. Excuse me. <laughs> okay? Uh, so anyways, I'm going to be sending you guys this out. So fill this, the thing, I don't want you to fill anything out other than this page right now, okay? All I want you to do is fill up this page. Tell me which department you're in. I'm going to turn everything on to no. I'm just going to do that because not everybody's the same. And not everybody has it all either. I'll pull this back. I, I put the yeses and noes in here so I could see the. Uh, make sure that everything was working. Okay, so it is, and I did a test on it, so we should be copacetic. So here's the number of work days we have in that month as well. And then change this if you like, if you like, and then open these up. How you open them up, you use the drop down. Okay, don't type over it. Use the drop down to do it. Okay.